Okay, now we are back and it's actually working. trying to watch this stream to see how this actually does its thing, right? Let's go! This whole multi scene thing is. And I'm trying to figure out the trigger. I'm sorry, this is going to be super boring. Because I am trying to figure this out. See more. How can I seed control? Dude, I just want to, I just want to hear to see if this is actually working. I'm going to have to mute my mic for a bit. Test audio, test, 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 test.
Ow! As I'm talking out on mute, like I'm on a freaking work conference call. Oh, good boy. What the hell, man? Oh, I need my minion to be level 17. I wonder how I can hire a level 17. No, I can't. I can hire a level 14, though. Okay. Oh, I just lost that shit. That sucks. Oh, wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Oh god, no. <laughs> uh, oh, I am... No, nah, man, I've just been a fan of this game for, like, a long time. I should probably just talk instead of chat, just because... What the heck? Um... Good to see you. Shit, I need to get a bow back. Yeah, let's do that one. Are there pro Diablo 2 players? Is that actually a thing? I mean, I know, obviously, I know there's all kinds of pro players for all kinds of games. But Diablo 2? That's crazy, man. Yeah, let's go there. Some life steal and some fire. I'll put that to good use. Okay. I sure hope you do. Yeah, well, I want to slow down. I don't know why I did that. Do do. Seconds there. Instead of 30 seconds, which is like way too much. That's kind of silly. I have actually here, and somebody's in the chat, and I'm thinking about it. I'm like, really? No, no. Jail. The slow torture of caged starvation. <laughs> oh, hey, all right. Let's keep this shit going. Now, uh, like, so I played Diablo 2 for. Oh, man, many years back in the day. You know, got to all the hard difficulty. Never got to a level 99 character, but... Um, I don't know how high my highest character was back in the day. I know I never got to the highest level, though. But, you know, it was real fun. I played a lot, probably dumped. I keep saying a thousand hours to myself, but I'm sure that it was... Probably more than that. Probably a lot more, actually. Hmm. Okay. Ah! And you know, basically, I just decided to pick it up again, you know? Because I was like, man, I missed this game. It's been so long. Man, I most definitely do miss it. And I just started kind of... You know, I got into 
working a lot, like crazy too much, and, you know, playing games makes me happy. And so, I was like, actually my wife suggested it to me, she was like, you should start playing games again. I don't know, <laughs> uh, I don't know if she's still... Thinks that was a good idea. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Are you still in here? It looks like you are. Um, can you? You're probably the first person that I've seen actually watching. Is there any chance you could let me know if my sound is off in any way? Or even if it's just okay. Isn't like mic too loud? Music too loud? Wow, sweet! For real? That's awesome. I've been. I did a couple streams, but I didn't have video recording turned on, so I couldn't go back and watch it, which was really unfortunate. So I kind of just been messing around with it tonight, trying to get the right ratio, and uh, that's good to hear. It's good to hear that I did good stuff. Hello, why do I know? All right, there we go. Now I got the crew. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, and man, what I always wanted to do back in the day that I never did was freaking actually try to play a hardcore character like legit, like all the way through. So that's what this is all about for me. I am overburdened. Really? I'm trying to get this necro all the way through. Then if I can get it all the way through? Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe try to go through the difficulties. That would be pretty crazy. But that would be. I don't know. It sounds like a fun idea to me. But. This game has always been near and dear to my heart. So, ouch. I can't carry any. Oh, really? No. Back to town. Stay a while and listen. Okay. Too much else she has to cancel. That's nice. Well, that's very good. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. I'm going to sell my stuff. And then I have to step away for a couple of minutes. I'm not gonna use it. I feel bad selling. I almost felt bad selling those fucking items, but it's just not. I don't know, man. Okay. I'm just 
talking to myself in the last stream where I was like thinking about gold and hardcore mode and like really like there's no reason to put it in the stash other than in hardcore mode other than freaking just not have that much gold in your inventory. Kind of makes the whole stash gold thing. Well, except there, I think you can hold a lot more in your stash. 2.5 million versus... I don't know. I don't know how much. I can't remember. It's been probably 8 years since I played this. Before I think I started this character two or three weeks ago. And I started streaming at level 11 or 12, I think. Oh shit, I need to go upstairs. <laughs> well. Oh, wow, nice. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So, yeah, like, I got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, so, jeez. So, if you get that way up there, you can hold almost a million gold at 99. Cool. I'll be right back. <laughs>
I get the brewski. Defense sure is awful, but it's good stats. Ooh. Music actually. <laughs> I've gone so long the music actually stopped. Welcomes you. Just fucking hate 
Survive. Mostly hitting summoning. I think I'm gonna do a summoning of uh, poison and power. Kind of stay away from the curses. I get cursed like an answer back in the day. I don't know. It just wasn't that interesting. Although, you know, maybe I'm thinking about it. made me laugh.
did at least a thousand hours back in the like two thousands. And then probably at least another four to five hundred hours uh, in the twenty tens. <coughs> but you know, I was so casual, you know. So I'm like, I just play because it's a fun game to play. Fun to get back to Especially in the last one, uh, it's awesome. Shit, I don't have any bone on it. Damn it, took all the skeletons. Son of a bitch. I played Diablo 3. I played Diablo 3 for. Awesome. I don't play like 150 hours of it had. Not very much. Yeah, that's a pretty big game. Although, you know, after I beat Normal, it's pretty easy. Like, it felt like it went way faster. Level three. Attributes. More defense, more durability. Okay. I'm always thinking about it. It's more supposed to be different. I didn't repair my shit. Oh my god. Oh no. Greetings. Oh, <sighs> 
the one Stay a while and listen. It is clear that Andariel is acting on behalf of Diablo to prevent anyone from following him eastward. Her defeat would allow you to continue the pursuit. Ancient lore has it that while Andariel was spawned in the burning hells, she is not fond of fire. Eh? Fire grandchild? Greetings. Sixteen. Ah, so close. 
Eternal Poison versus 30%. I would hate to use that though. I can use the tower for one of these relics. Greetings.
military system. Oh. 
Thank you for opening the door. It's a skull. Hello. Good day. anymore. Just do it. Oh my god. Here we go. 
back to the trail, man. Good to see you. The order welcomes you. Good to see you. I sense a demonic presence here. That's a fair assumption, my friend.
following they have on the But there are big ones there. Let's 
so. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Off to the catacombs. Up to. I am overburdened. I put that to good use. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. Nice corpse explosion. There is a explosion in the diamond store. Oh, 
That's pretty great right like there. It's also great. Greetings. Oh, wow. What you need? Yes? That's
their skeletons, nonetheless. Now yeah, let's get that quartz explosion on the list. Love it. Oh man. It's been so long. Man. So long. Good day. Oh, wait, is she level four? Hello. Plus 
75 points of damage for five seconds. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Stop it. Good day. Thank <laughs> you. 
can do that again. Oh, that's okay. Since everything is dropping down hurdles. I am overburdened. Good to see you. It's pretty good since I do use melee. Welcomes you. I'm 
to good use. Do it. I can't do that here. Oh, oh shit. Doesn't it's not her thing power oh, here just that's not gonna work. So I just
Hello. Okay. Greetings. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this OBS. It's pretty sweet. It's got the stats, it's got the, it's got the chat, activity feed. It's got a nice integration, man. Well, that was the only one I used, so I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Level four.
Uh, I wasn't going to go to Stream Command or uh, I'm going to D and D Pathfinder group and and do more than I expected. So, yeah, super. Looks like why not? Welcomes you. Good day.
going to than I expected. Listen. Good evening. You have done much to help us, but I sense that this has only fueled Andariel's fury. She will not stop until we are all dead. You must kill Andariel before her army can gain the upper hand.
Hello. Uh, Shit. Sure. Now at least one. Okay, no One fire and then two light. Yes. The Order welcomes you. What you need? If you are the hero that you seem to be, now is the time to prove it. The Sisterhood welcomes you.
put that to good use. put that to good use. Not in town. I'm carry carry anymore. Good to see you.
the hell that spawned you, Andariel. I am never burdened. This is a great victory indeed, but many more battles await. I will accompany you on your journey, lending what assistance I can. Remember, Diablo is still out there, seeking something in the desert. I'm afraid that this nightmare will not end until you find what it is that he seeks. And Dariel's death brings about renewed life for us all. We mourn the loss of our dear sisters, but at least now we can get on with our lives. I may have misjudged you, Outlander. You are a true hero, and testament to the noble spirit which has inspired our order for generations. Farewell, my friend. Good day. Finally, we may rejoice. We owe you a debt we can never repay. I only hope that in time, we will be able to rebuild our order. All our thanks go with you, my friend. Greetings. Put that to good use. Put that to good use. What you need? The caravan is prepared. We may now journey eastward to loot Golain. Good day. <laughs> I'm gonna party like it's 9.99. Thank you. 
carry anymore. Good evening. Good to see you. Good evening. We traveled east, over the mountains and into the vast deserts of broken lands. As the days passed, my companion told me of himself, that he had once been a great warrior, and that a dark and secret burden now weighed heavily upon him. We traveled for an eternity across that barren wasteland. How long? I couldn't say. And always, a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. We climbed the last bridge. There below us lay our destination. The shining jewel root lane with a great sea beyond. We made camp that last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams returned, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage, Talrasha. You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. 
Yet when their attempts failed, Talrasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him within a tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon for all eternity. set out with the dawn. The next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lutgulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lutgolain, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I am glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. Greetings. I'm Mashif, captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. Good day. I don't expect this of you. But if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, there lurks a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor, just up the street. I don't know why you people keep pestering me. Gray's seems to have this place locked down nice and tight. Not that I couldn't have done the same. I've proven my valor in combat plenty of times. Have you found those big sand maggots yet? Arrows and all that don't work so well against them. Best thing is just to hack them with a sword or such. Have you found those... Hey! Don't touch my drink, or I'll bore a hole into your skull with my thumb. Hey! Don't... Greetings. The creature makes its lair in the tunnels beneath the city. He butchered my husband and son. I simply cannot bear to talk about it. In addition to my public house, there used to be several brothels doing business here. When the troubles first started in the desert, 
the harem guild sought sanctuary within the palace. Of course, Jaren was glad to oblige. I'll bet they're finding many ways to repay him for his protection. I can't do that here. Good day! The Herodrim used to mummify their highest mages and infuse them with spells that would allow them to protect their tombs, even after death. I have no idea why one of them would be acting so malevolently. Perhaps Drognan or Farah would know more about this. I talked at length with Wariv as we crossed the desert from Kanduras. He has many fascinating tales of the dangers of the desert. His experience may be useful to you. I know much about the ancient religions. I was trained as a paladin of Zakarum in the Eastern Khoras Temple many years ago. Meshif is an honest man as far as I can tell. He has never pestered me about my past. I believe that the creature you refer to is one of the ancient Horadric mummies from the tombs that lie buried beneath the desert sands. It is unusual for one of his kind to be so far away from his resting place. I sense in this entity a restless and malevolent spirit. How do I know I can trust you, hmm? You may be as shifty as that pack rat Elzix who runs the inn. But if you need a potion though, I suppose I can make you one. For a price, of course. <laughs> I've sold many seasickness potions to Meshif over the years. It seems that many of his passengers don't take well to the rocking of his ship on the open seas. I hear that beast is after body parts. Does he eat them? Ooh, ghastly. Now that Andariel is dead, I can return and outfit the rogues properly. Once I've made some trades here, I'll be free to head back to their monastery. Let me know if you want to travel along. Jeren has his father's strength and wits. He's young, but he rules this place with wisdom and care. I think he'll grow into a fine sultan, provided we all survive this crisis. I've heard tales of walking corpses out in the desert at night, though I've never actually seen one. Halt. You may not pass. You must be one of the new heroes who've come to rid our city of evil. Uh, under any other circumstances, I'd be surprised to see one of your kind in this city. Uh, but lately... Oh, never mind all that. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these sands. Nowadays, I run this here inn and pretty much stay out of trouble. <laughs> my days of adventuring are behind me. That Lysander's a grumpy old cuss. You'd better not disturb him while he's working on his potions, or boom, you could get blasted to the moon. I hear that the creature kills his victims in order to hack off their limbs. I guess that makes me a less likely candidate, eh? <laughs>
I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. Well, I can tell you that it's got nothing to do with the local town guards. They're all in the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to help keep the peace around here. We're not cheap, but we're the best this wasteland has to offer. Atma seems to be a fine woman, but I'm sure the loss of her family has made her lonely. Perhaps I should go over and console her when I get off duty tonight. <laughs> I've personally found some of that devil's victims washed up out of the sewer. Often they are missing limbs or a head, and their bodies have always been skinned. At first, the creature raided the town at night. That's how Atma lost her family. Now we've got him barricaded in the sewers. You're safe up here on the surface, but every now and again, some fool wants to be a hero and heads down to the waste tunnels with a pig sticker. <laughs> I've heard that you are responsible for banishing Andariel back to the Burning Hells. I'm impressed, stranger. That couldn't have been easy. My name is Drognan, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. <laughs> 